Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist and Power here, and in today's Fun Scroll Saw Project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good. I've already got the pattern printed out, cut out, and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and we're going to be using more pine. And today's project is a Mother's Day project. Now, Mother's Day is fast approaching here in a couple weeks, and I always look forward to it to celebrate my mom and all of the moms out there. Anyone who knows me personally knows that I am a total mama's boy, and I would not be here without the love, support, and encouragement of my mom and I know she watches my videos so right now I want to say thank you for everything mom I love you dearly from the bottom of my heart thank you for everything the design is simplistic in nature and you can easily get out in your workshop or garage and knock this out it's always great if you have the ability to make something handmade for a loved one and I love making my mom a handmade gift so sneak peek mom this gifts for you so the base is going to be two pieces of the pine material and this was three quarter inch pine that I milled down to one half inch in thickness and the base is going to have a slight tiered appearance on this oval base you have two pieces here with the slot for the scroll work to go in and the scroll work is very beautiful and elegant in its style really really neat it depicts a mother's face here and resting her chin on her child there and this could be a boy or a girl with the word mother there at the bottom now keep in mind with the versatility of scroll saw projects you could take out the word mother here and add your mom's own name or any woman's name that you wanted to add especially if this was like for a baby shower gift if you wanted to interpret it that way or you could go in with a laser engraver if you have access or own one and laser etch a nice quote or something here. So really cool. We're going to cut the project out as intended. And all that's left to do now is drill all of our pilot holes. So let's move the camera and do that now. And over here on the workbench, we're going to take the Seiko Scrollers drill and drill out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And you'll note that I have a backer board behind the scroll work to prevent blowout of the pilot holes on the reverse side. That just helps us be able to find them easier once we get over to the scroll saw since they won't be clogged with sawdust. Over here at the scroll saw we will begin scrolling and I will use a number 5 ultra reverse tooth scroll saw blade for all of the scrolling on this project. Of course everything is pine material and the blade will cut through it exceptionally well with minimal chip out which is always good when it comes time for sanding. If you guys would like to try this pattern it's available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. I will begin here by cutting out the word mother at the bottom of the piece and you technically do not have to cut out the word mother. You could actually go in if you're good with Butto Editing software and put another name here or your mom's actual name or a quote. That's what I love about a scroll saw project's versatility. But as always, I am taking my time and letting the blade do the work here. And I'm always happy when I'm able to hand make something for my mom because that just shows how much you really care. I feel a handmade gift shows how much you love an individual, whether it be for your mom or anyone else. And it goes above and beyond just sticking money in a card or going and buying a present from a big box store. It just shows that you've took the time and effort to make something. And the love, of course, is there. But I really love the design of this project, really showing a mother's love. I love the flowing lines in it that give off the mother's face silhouette as well as the baby's face silhouette. Here I am cutting out the slot for the tab. And I tested it really quickly and I had to do some tweaking on it to make sure that the fit was tight once we get to the gluing later on in the video but now it will be time to release all of the pieces and the base is two ovals one bigger one smaller that makes up kind of a tiered appearance but I will cut these out here still using that same blade and of course I'm taking my time and letting the blade do the work if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel 
and also follow me across all my social medias under the artisan pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. And you guys know if you are longtime followers that I am a total mama's boy, as well as the only boy in the family. But I love and respect my mom tremendously for all she has done for me throughout my life. Now that all of the scrolling is done, we can move to the workbench and remove the pieces from the waste wood and get our first glimpse of how the project's going to look. But then we can go to sanding and I'll sand the front and back of everything with 180 grit Clingspore Woodworking Shop sandpaper in the Vibrating Palm Sander. And I'll be careful with the scroll work here so I don't break anything. But then we will glue the base together first and I'll use CA glue and activator. And even though the glue basically dries instantly with the activator, I still like to use spring clamps and let it set up for around five minutes to make sure the glue is cured. And then I come back and remove the clamps. And now it's time to add some color to the pieces. And for the scroll work, I will use a light Minwax wood stain here. And I'll saturate everything on the scroll work to make sure everything has color before wiping off the excess. And then I will hang it on a hook to dry for around an hour or so. And we will spray paint the base with a high gloss Rust-Oleum spray paint. And both the scroll work and the base here will dry for over an hour with the breeze blowing on it. But then it will be time for final assembly once again with CA glue and activator. And again, I set it aside for around five minutes to completely cure before adding a finish. And I used my standard finish of several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss. And once that dried, the project was complete. And here we have the completed Mother's Day project cut out from start to finish over on the scroll saw and it finished up amazingly well with some beautiful and powerful imagery in it. Thank you Steve Good for another fantastic design from your pattern catalog. Once again this is one of his newer pattern offerings from 2024 in case you guys would like to go back and make this and make a handmade gift for your mother. That's always very heartfelt if you have the ability and capabilities to make something by hand for your mother and they always cherish that above anything of course you could buy that would be store-bought if that makes any sense. It took me around 25 minutes to scroll this project out from start to finish. It's not a very complicated pattern. It's just with the nature of it you need to be as loyal as you can to the cut line and as always I took my time and let the blade do the work but you can easily tell what everything is here. You can easily tell the silhouette of the woman's face resting her chin on her newborn child. Of course the child could be a little boy or a little girl. Then you have the word mother there at the base that is easily legible and then you have this nice tiered oval base at the bottom cut out completely on the scroll saw as I said and I finished this in my standard rustic finishing way I stained the material here the scroll work a light minwax wood stain that allowed the natural grain of the pine material of course everything here is pine to shine through and I painted the base a nice bright color to give it a splash of color of course with all scroll saw projects you could use exotic or hardwoods to cut this out to where you didn't need to worry about stain or painting and if you wanted to go the extra route you could paint everything on this project if you are good with paints and as I said at the beginning if you have access to editing software you could take out the word mother here at the bottom and maybe put your own mom's name in at the bottom or if you have access to a laser engraver or own one you could laser etch a nice little quote or a Mother's Day poem there at the bottom if you wanted to do that so lots of options and possibilities for scroll saw patterns as always showcasing their versatility once again this will be a present for my mom I, of course, will also get her something nice and take her out to a nice meal. But the handmade gifts always go above and beyond. And once again, here on a public platform, I want to once again tell my mom how much I love her. I love you so much, Mom. 
thank you for all the encouragement and support throughout the years with whatever I try to do over here on this platform. Thank you for the continued support, Mom. I love you so much, and words can never express my love for you. Thank you so much for everything, Mom. Really, really cool. I had a lot of fun in today's project, and I hope you guys like watching me make today's project. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to it, and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. As always, links to contact me as well as all my social medias will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. And remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.